Yeah, man. It's, it's always uh, good workout today. It's always cool watching everybody walk into the gym. You know, they come in and they think, oh, it's 6.30, 7.30. You know, they think they got here pretty early, but it's always somebody here earlier working harder. And, you know. That's right. You just got to get to it. You think you got up early? You'd be surprised. Somebody else beat you to it. Yeah. Someone else is already up before you up. And that's the game, you know. Then some people just, it's 6.30 in the morning right now. And and some people just walking in and they felt like, man, I got up early. <laughs> but we've been up since 3. Yeah. And guess what? We're probably not the first ones early because when we got to the gym, we saw a few people in the gym before. Us. So whatever your average is or whatever your best is, there's somebody out there that is better than your best. So you should always keep pushing, aspire to be better, you know. Uh, don't don't settle for average. Don't be a mediocre. All right, push yourself. And but overall, great job this morning. Job, and we're gonna catch another one. We live in a world filled with opportunities, where greatness is within reach for those who dare to pursue it. Yet, so many choose to settle for less to accept average, to accept mediocrity as their fate. But let me ask you some, all right? Let me, let me ask you if average is truly what you desire. This is not a trick question. Are you content with a life of average, with a life of bare minimum accomplishments and unfulfilled dreams. So that brings me to this conversation with you today. Okay, I'm not a motivational speaker, but I am here to serve as a beacon of inspiration during this adversity challenge. To urge you to break free from the shackles of mediocrity. It is time to unleash your full potential to rise above the ordinary and to embrace the extraordinary life that awaits you. I stand here today as I go through my workout, you know, with my friend, to tell you today that mediocrity is not your destiny. Average is not your cup of tea. However, it is a choice. A choice that you have the power to reject. You were born with unique talents, passions, and dreams that are begging to be unleashed upon the world. I beg of you, as you listen to me, don't let them wither away in the depths of conformity. Don't let all your talent and your dreams and your passion go to waste just because you are lazy, just because you want to settle for less. You don't want to push yourself. You don't want to be uncomfortable. The path to greatness may not be as easy, all right? It demands hard work, dedication, and a relentless pursuit of excellence. Excellent decisions. But let me assure you today, the rewards that await those who dare to step beyond the boundaries of mediocrity, man, the rewards are immeasurable. Don't, don't be within the box that society have, have boxed you in, you know, don't, don't, don't settle to be within the matrix. You have to think outside the box right like like the whole old um test you know it's it's like a creativity test where you have to connect nine dots together and the only way to do do so without lifting the pen is to go outside the box you see we have been programmed by society to operate within the box and that's the only thing majority of us know is to operate within the box. Then we want to point fingers and blame everyone else.
Think of the world's greatest innovators, artists, and visionaries who have shaped our history. They did not settle for the status quo. They did not settle for a daily accomplishment. Ooh, I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm just thriving. I just want to live paycheck to paycheck. As long as I'm healthy, I don't have to get in the gym. I just want to pass the class. You know, I just want to show up at the job and do this. I just want my, my business to keep my head above water. You don't want to you don't want to be extraordinary. You see the greatest innovators, the greatest artists, the greatest visionaries and people who have fought throughout history they dared to dream bigger. Why do we remember them today? It's because their dream were bigger than the norm. They pushed the limits of what was deemed possible. They chose to be extraordinary. And in doing so, they forever changed the course of humanity. So why should you settle for anything less? Why should you confine your aspirations to the mediocre when you are capable of so much more? The answer lies within you. The fire that burns deep within your soul, yearning for greatness. I challenge you today to ignite that fire. To fan the flames of ambition, pour gasoline in your fire. And to break free from the chains of mediocrity. Do not settle for average. Embrace discomfort. You see, I hate running because when I was in college, when I was a basketball player, we ran so hard. So running was never fun. You know, conditioning was like my, my own definition of, okay, I'm about to die, pretty much. However, I started running by myself recently because I, I want to start doing things that pretty much made me uncomfortable. I know running makes me uncomfortable. Pull-ups in the gym makes me uncomfortable. I started doing pull-ups. Embrace discomfort. Why discomfort? It is only through discomfort that growth and transformation are born. Ain't no way around it. Only through discomfort is where growth and transformation are born okay step outside of your comfort zone and into the realm of extraordinary do not be afraid of failure for it is the stepping stone to success every setback every stumble these are all opportunity for growth and learning embrace the lessons that failure offers and let them prepare you towards greatness. Most importantly, man, ladies and gentlemen, surround yourself with like-minded individuals. Those will inspire, challenge, and push you to be better. I am working out in the morning right now with LD Shigano, he's a basketball player. We used to work out together in the evening. I started the adversity challenge and told him, I was like, hey man, you know what? I started doing this challenge in the morning. I don't know if you'll be able to get up. He told me, he was like, what time we're lifting now? I was shocked. I was like, oh, okay. This guy is up for the challenge. And I'm pretty sure you start seeing more of me and him working out together before his basketball season starts in the fall. You know why? We inspire each other, like-minded individuals, and we are both individuals who push each other to be better. Seek mentors, all right? Seek mentors who have walked the path of excellence and learn from their wisdom. 
Together, you can create a community of extraordinary individuals supporting one another on the journey to greatness. Ladies and gentlemen, remember this, okay? You were not put onto this earth to merely exist like most of you are. You're just living on a day-to-day basis, just breathing oxygen. You realize you got a lot of talent you're not putting into use. You got to find your purpose. You were meant to thrive, to make a difference, and to leave a lasting impact. Do not let the fear of failure or the comfort of mediocrity hold you back from unleashing your true potential. So I implore you today, don't be mediocre. Listen to that again. Don't be mediocre. Embrace the audacity to dream big, to set goals that scare you, and to relentlessly pursue them. Choose the extraordinary over the ordinary, and let your light shine brightly in the world hungry for greatness. The choice is yours, of course. I make my choice every single day. You got to make yours. I make my choice to get up at 3 in the morning where it's so uncomfortable to get out of bed. I want to keep snoozing the, the alarm. But guess what? I get, get up anyway. That's my choice. I don't make your choice for you. I will not make the decision for you. The choice is yours. Will you settle for mediocrity? Or will you rise above and become the embodiment of excellence? That's all I'm trying to be here. I'm not a motivational speaker. I aspire to become the embodiment of excellence in all aspects of life. I believe in you. I believe that within you lies the power to achieve greatness. Now, it's time for you to believe in yourself. It's time to embark on a journey of extraordinary achievements. Okay? And as you do so, remember, chance favors the aggressor.